So uh, we are uh, interested in uh, you know this explanation how to control. Uh, the first uh, working state is the reset or out of service. When we are in the out of service mode, um, the temperature values are uh, ambient temperatures and pressure and flow zero, valves are all uh, open and uh, we consider that vibration, main fault and other trip signals are normal, they are normally true. Vibration is, zero, uh, uh, is true, it's normally uh, NC, normal closed. Uh, main motor fault is NC, it's true. A stop signal is uh, true, but uh, the trip a generated trip signal is uh, normally uh, normally false so when we have the trip signal it will be true uh, that's all and uh, when we are in reset everything will be zero we start with the permission permission to start requires uh, 30 seconds function test. We check uh, for the function test, the inlet and bypass control valve should be fully open and um, fully closed and open respect, respectively. So the inlet, uh, IGV inlet, inlet valve is fully closing the permission. So we um, put the compressor in permission to a start. Uh, we shouldn't have any uh, alarm. You can see the inlet guide when is closing. So um, we shouldn't have any alarm and everything should be normal. IG, IGV is closing, inlet guide vein is closing and the PCV is open. After 30 uh, seconds, you can see it's in progress. Yeah, you can see the yeah, indication PR means in, uh, it's in progress. So uh, the now the permission is okay. And uh, valves mm, the vent valve or pcv valve is open pressure control valve is open pcv or vent valve the igv is fully closed mm. in the out of service uh, as i mentioned all pressure and flow zero temperatures are ambient control valves are fully open that is the uh, out of service mode uh, oil pressure uh, is uh, between 0 to 5 bar or pressure under 2.5 will fail the permissive and shut down normally but even if we, uh, we are in permissive in a uh, startup uh, oil pressure uh, when uh, when the oil pressure is getting low we should shut down because it's a, a, a abnormal behavior so the oil uh, pressure is shown here you can see that um, 2.7 then we have the permission the, uh, the compressor will be uh, lub lubricated with a uh, electric uh, oil pump so we um, we have the correct pressure here it's possible to uh, to change and modify uh, the oil pressure in calibration mode you can change the value and see when, when I change the oil pressure to zero uh, the permission will be, will shut down and we have the alarm here that oil pressure is getting low so oil pressure is uh, very important in all of the uh, our rotary systems uh, let me reset them return it to normal uh, when we have any uh, alarm we need to acknowledge it first consider i want to check the permission again and uh, if you have any type of alarms and uh, i need to uh, return to normal i need to uh, press acknowledge when this um, trip signal is getting true i and the source of the uh, problem is solved i need to press acknowledge and uh, vibration is indication of uh, vip is indication of vibration signal is normally true in case of false during a start 
uh, permission and uh, it will fail during a startup mm, if the vibration VIP is false it means that something is wrong in the vibration system during the startup we will inhibit uh, it depends on you you can uh, monitor it's not a, it's not a big deal normally there is a uh, trip multiplier uh, we will uh, during a startup the vibrations are a bit high and uh, we will uh, we will monitor uh, it's okay for us for example to to have the vibration level in 80 percent of trip signal in some cases they just uh, uh, ignore the vibration signals during the startup in this example we ignore the vibration signal uh, during the startup uh, main motor failure will shut down uh, the compressor in all working state permission normal operation Mm, uh, no shutdown or alarm during permission uh, is very important. After permission is granted, you can start the compress compressor in the startup period. The inlet valve uh, inlet guideline is still full closed and bypass valve is full open in the startup. Let's function test that. Uh, we the permission is okay. Now we are in the startup in progress. You can see the main drive is running. Oil, uh, uh, sorry, um, air fan cooler is uh, running. Uh, IGB is closed. We have the, the vent valve is totally open, so we don't have any pressure here. After uh, passing 60 uh, seconds, the startup phase will will be finished and the IGB will open and the vent valve should uh, close and after um, the startup the control is in the hand of the PID controllers now in, in this phase uh, the PID controllers are are not uh, are not active uh, let's uh, let's see 54 5 6 7 and we now 60 IGB is opening you can see the IGB is opening and the vent valve is closing when we reach to the when the valve the vent valve is closing uh, in a manner that it's possible to pressurize the uh, system uh, you can see that after we reaching to 7k or 7 bar the uh, the block valve will operate and uh, we will send the compressed air into the header so uh, this is the normal operation the PID controller is in action and uh, you can see that uh, we have uh, included the PID controllers here this is the um, overall structure and this is the normal operation yeah you can see we, we should reach to the set point of uh, 8k or 8 bar 8k millibar or 8 bar and after a while we will reach to that and uh, a startup lasts 60 seconds during a startup vibration signals are inhibited after a startup outlet valve will transfer the compressor uh, into the header uh, if the pressure is more than seven after this period the control valves are the control of valves are done by PID max selector that is the uh, this is structure so now we are in the control mode PID control mode you can see that the pressure is getting more than a set value this vent valve is uh, helping uh, the inlet guide vane we have two actuators uh, to operate and to maintain the pressure in a constant uh, value i pause uh, the video here the introduction is finished now uh, we'll, i will explain the program in each part uh, the program is developed mostly in Sibyl. i will explain all details
and uh, uh, these sections uh, you can see that we have 10 uh, drawings to discuss and two of them uh, uh, these are empty drawings and uh, I will explain each drawings in the next uh, step.